What is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today I'm going to be talking about an amazing pairing of Ag Eagle and Valkyrie. And the reason is it's because there was an interview conducted by Ryan Walsh, the CEO and co-founder of Valkyrie. And he really went into a lot of detail on not only the drone industry moving forward, but really the direction in which their company's headed and also the pairing with Ag Eagle. So if you're interested in this information, I suggest you stay tuned right after this. Before we start flying into this video, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and now it's time, as you know, to get into the video. As you will find out in this interview with Brian Walsh, you're going to see that we are taking strides in the future in every form to deliver whatever it may be with drones, whether it is going to be package delivery, whether it's going to be everyday medicine, vaccines. You know, obviously with the COVID going on, handling that situation, food deliveries, all kinds of things are being done with drones. And I'm not even going to be able to talk about security because I only have 15 minutes. But Ryan Walsh really went into great detail on the future of not only Valkyrie, but really the future of the direction at which this whole idea is headed. I'm looking forward to really providing you the content of the interview and breaking it down from my perspective because... You know, he does mention Ag Eagle, but the biggest thing is really what the company is doing. And I think that's awesome because of the pairing with Ag Eagle. So I'm going to dive into that right now. This interview was conducted by Urban Air Mobility News. And I didn't pick every single question that he was asked because it was a lot of information. But I picked the ones that I felt were most important. So it's time to dive in. Swinging on over here. The question that I picked up first was... Do you see your ultimate customer as primarily commercial, domestic, or both? And it's going to start getting good. The And this is his response. The current market available for revenue is primarily commercial, but that's going to gradually shift as we get closer to at-home deliveries. There's more of these giants entering the market that's going to really expand the range of services. It's not just wealthy neighborhoods where pilot operations are taking place. We're going to see more of a shift from commercial customers to residential and eventually like the logistics sector, the market will evolve to include everyone. So as you can see, he really starts talking about the evolution of the drone delivery. Obviously, it is going to expand and it's going to continue to grow. And as we get going, you're going to see that that's going to probably start happening here at a rapid pace. So continuing on, the next question he was asked was, what are the competitive advantages? You know, obviously, what are your competitive advantages? And he went into pretty good detail on this. He goes, we have a very significant IP portfolio. We really have locked down the landing station sector in much of the world. And I agree, no question. I mean, you'll find out his patents and everything. We are the only ones that have universal application. Anything that's even remotely similar hasn't been able to integrate outside of their own ecosystem. We can plug into any drone network and provide a complete chain of custody with immediate full automation. It doesn't matter what fleet you already have. We can work with it. And that is what's amazing. That really truly is, is that that's pretty cool. Um, so he goes, it doesn't matter what fleet you already have. We can work with it. That reduces cost and leads to much lower insurance premiums and a safer environment overall. We believe there's nobody even close to our capability to adapt. Our design is very modular. So if a customer needs temperature control, that is easy to provide. Hence, you know, all the other items that can be delivered, food, medicines, things like that. I think that's awesome. Um, and then he continues to say, if a customer wants to use an individual attachment mechanism, we can accommodate that. We work with established drone operators rather than developing our own competing system, which in itself is a competitive advantage. We have a worldwide portfolio of patents with a quite broad claims that cover the landing station and delivery by drone to the landing station itself. Our IP covers technology that will be critical as the market enters the delivery market as a next phase of maturity. Our granted utility patents cover much of the developed world. So we feel we have an extremely strong position and we're growing our portfolio every few months. You know, that right there is significant in its own. And the reason is, is just because how, how confident he is at not only their station, 
but being the only one and proving they're the only one and really having, you know, just dominated that field. That's what makes me happy about being invested in the Ag Eagle because of the partnership they have with Valkyrie. And we'll get into that, but that right there fires me up as an investor and it should you too. This next question that he was asked, I think is the most important, maybe, you know, 1A and 1B when it comes to questions he was asked. And it's really telling and really unveiling of not only where his company is at, but where, you know, Ag Eagle is probably at and where a lot of these drone companies are going to be at here in the next five years, which is, well, the question. So swing on over here. Where are you now and where will you be in five years time? This year, we introduced our drone delivery station featuring six separate storage units to accommodate multiple deliveries or pickups as we see this as a predominantly a commercial product, although it can also work for community or village applications, it allows for a fully autonomous point to point delivery or pickup and accommodates packages delivered via precision landing, hover drop packages and winch packages. The regulations allow for more commercial uh, operations. So we have to been focusing on bringing that product to the market with various partners covering different geographic areas, which I think is very, very key as well. You're talking different areas. You know, you have different environments. That's an extremely important. That is slowly going to shift as regulations start moving towards at home deliveries. We see the process developing over the next two years. And once that really hits the mainstream about three years from now, it's really going to take off. We will be launching our new products in that time, such as our drone mailbox, window units, and our integrated landing pads, which will be built into structures. In five years, we're really going to see the vision become a reality. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is absolutely amazing. You order something and a drone is at your house within a few minutes, all autonomously. And there is a lot of dots. And like I said, I only have 15 minutes, but I'm going to be continuing making videos on this because... There's a lot of connections going on with all that information that he just provided. This next piece that I'm going to provide you is still attached to that question. And this is the biggest hurdle I think that any, you know, any type of drone company is having to accomplish. And so I'm going to continue on. The Federal Aviation Administration will be announcing some of its new regulations in the coming months and years to meet the mandates set by Congress. The European Union's new regulations will take effective in January. We are seeing adoptions in other countries, which will open the market initially for test and then full commercial operations. Testing is vital because if, are, if you are really to take this mainstream, it will require developing an entire ecosystem. The FAA is testing remote identification now with 10 companies, our partner T-Mobile will be one of them. It's important to get those imp uh, implementations right. It's aviation, it's people's safety. So you want to make sure there are no missteps which is why the FAA is being very deliberate and taking the necessary steps. We're following suit, so operations start pro, uh, proliferating. We can see the good position to support drone companies in our new markets. And I truly think that that is the biggest piece that people are having to accomplish, and that is the FAA. I think when you start talking about workhorses, well, that's going to be a huge hurdle for them to get past with the horsefly. In this case, anything that Ag Eagle is associated with, and whatever major e-commerce they're you know dealing with that is the biggest hurdle is the faa and the reason is, is because think about it they want to make sure that safety is the number one priority they want to make sure that drones aren't just going to go you know rogue and start smashing into things hurting people hurting whatever objects are around i mean there's a lot of things that the faa has to see done which is why you have to fly over 400 hours before you get their approval that's extremely important and I do feel that that's honestly the biggest hurdle for these companies. The question he was asked was basically revolving around partners. So it says, do you have a set number of partners? How do you develop relationships with other drone ecosystem stakeholders? And this is where it gets really important as well. We find that partners fall into a few main categories, the drone operators, the drone and subcomponent manufacturers, complementary ecosystem providers, and end user customers. We find unique partner combinations in each of these categories to build drone solutions for exactly what the customer needs. Many times our partners fall into multiple categories such as Ag Eagle, whom will be doing our manufacturing, but we are also developing some really exciting systems together. That is really, really good news. Much like you have drones flying via UTM systems and partners supplying various connectivity components, we are part of an ecosystem and help provide a safer operation. Much of the overall responsibility falls on the drone operator and the system integrator to bring all these elements together and we're looking at how to enhance and further automate that solution. 
We see ourselves as a full integration support, working with number of partners, well over a dozen drone operators alone now, and we have chosen or choose those partners because some are operating in specific geographic locations. Once again, that's extremely, extremely important. And he says countries as well. And the reason that is, is because like I said, you have so many different environments. You have so many different ways of delivery. You have so many different, I guess you could say, uh, climate changes and things like that. And so really it, it's important to understand the differences at which they're you know, obviously operating in, but also the partnerships that are being forged because of these different areas. And that's very unique as well. He says it's easy for the U.S. partner to transfer operations to Europe or vice versa. So we're looking at geographic specific companies. Oh, he said it's not easy. Excuse me. And the reason he says it's not easy is just because, you know, there's not a one size fit all and there's a lot of different regulations as well. So he says uh, the next question is when will there be fully commercial drone deliveries taking place around the world? And he goes, this is a complex answer. The first business use case medical deliveries. And this is where I think we're going to start to see this. He says, uh, missions with a very critical need. Those are definitely getting fast tracked. Then there are deliveries to remote locations or maritime operations missions that don't put a lot of people's lives in jeopardy. With these, you're not flying over people or at night. And these applications are really pressing ahead. And I think that's a lot of, you know, the package deliveries. That's a lot of, you know, you're out in the country type areas and they're being able to accomplish those tasks and see, you know, what they're able to do. He says they're also starting to see pockets of other drone delivery services developing around the world. Uh, circles of activity are expanding and becoming a little more complex. There are different drone operators in each little pocket. You have a medical delivery operation starting up over here and a food delivery pilot over here. As those circles start overlapping, we're going to start finding the same infrastructure will be required for both operations. And as we get closer to the standardization, that's going to be reinforced. So that makes sense right there. Obviously, you know, you have two different pockets and eventually they're going to have the same accomplishment. At this infrastructure developments, UTM will be introduced and connectivity widened. All the things that are required for the network to work efficiently, it will become increasingly mainstream over the next five years. We probably won't see a full deployment where you have a drone delivery anytime you see in 15 minutes for several more years, but we are taking the necessary steps as an industry to get towards that. And I do think that they have made massive strides and for it to be even within several years, that is absolutely amazing. I think that, you know, I think the medicine and the COVID stuff might be fast track, like they said, and that might be occurring a lot quicker, obviously. But I think when you're talking a fully autonomous drone flying a package to your house, del delivering it to the Valkyrie mailbox, at which they're working in hand in hand with Ag Eagle on making different boxes, I think that's that's absolutely amazing, and that is coming right around the corner. You know, as an investor, these are the types of not only interviews you want to see, but these are the types of strides and progressions you want to see. This is why I really, really am excited to be invested into Ag Eagle, and it makes you, I, I don't know just how to describe the feeling because you can see his sense of pride that he has not only in the company, but he has, you know, moving forward and making advancements and providing a service to the people of the world. And, and that's what's exciting for me. There is no question going to be more videos on this topic, on this company, and of course on Ag Eagle. You know, I want to thank you guys for swinging by and checking out this video. I do want to remind you, I am not a financial advisor, and anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. That's exactly what I'm here to do, is entertain. And you guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content, because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.